Hello, algebra students. So this is the systems of equations solved by graphing worksheet. I'm just gonna go ahead and work through the problems. I'll go through pretty fast. So if you ever need to pause to catch up, feel free. Hope you find this helpful. Okay, uh, problem number one. <clears throat> so remember y equals mx plus b, right? So the number on the end, that's the b, that's the y-intercept. So that is where we start on the graph. So at negative 2 on the y-axis. Then this slope, so m is your slope, is negative 1 third. So that means we go up 1 over 1, 2, 3. That's where our next dot goes. Now. I could have gone up one over one, two, three this way, but then that would have made our line go up to the right, so that's positive. And see this negative, that means we want our line to go down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another dot by going down one over one, two, three. All right, so there is our first line. <clears throat> All right, next line. The y-intercept is 2, so I'm going to put my first dot right there. So I have an x with no number. Remember when there's no number in front of the x, it's actually a 1. And then whenever you have a, um, a number that's not already a fraction for your slope, you just make it a fraction by putting it over 1. So our slope is up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. I can also go the opposite way, down 1 over 1. All right, so then there's my second line. And we can see these lines cross right there at 1, 2, 3. So that's negative 3, negative 1. Negative 3 and negative 1. There is your first answer. So that's what we're looking for. The solution is where the lines cross. All right, so problem two. We have x equals negative one, so that means this is a little different. This means that x is always negative one, so it's just a line that goes straight through that number. So it means so if y is 1, x is still negative 1. If y is 2, x is still negative 1. Okay, x is always negative 1. So that's that first line. The next one, we've got a negative 4 as the y-intercept. <clears throat> and then we've got a slope of negative x. So just like on the first one, there's actually a 1 in front of it. So it's negative 1 over 1. So we start at negative 4, we go up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. So see how my line is going down to the right? So that's a negative slope. All right, so here's my line. And they cross right here. So that dot is negative one, negative three. All right, problem number three. <clears throat> Looks like this. Okay, so we've got plus one is our y-intercept. Negative one-third slope. So we go up one over one, two, three. I'm going to do it the opposite way also. Down one over one, two, three. Next line, y-intercept is negative 3, put a dot right there, and then our slope is negative 5 over 3, so we go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1, 2, 3, and it's that same dot that we've actually already made. So my other line looks like this, and this is where they cross, so that is it. Negative three, two. 
All right, so I'm just doing those first three problems. Hopefully you can do the rest yourself. If you can't, please email me or talk to me in class or come see me during lunch, get the help you need. Um, but hopefully that was enough to remember how to graph lines. Okay, see you later.